Hey guys, this is Backlog Cleaning Lady and today I'll be bringing you a new game that is still in early access that's called Fabledom. Supposedly is a, a building management... I'm not sure if I can call this a simulation game um, but it has a touch of fables. So we'll be checking this out. I've actually played it once, okay, just once and it's uh, currently Currently, with the, the content that it has, it's, it's a very short gameplay, so I'll be showing you uh, w what I do know already, and then you can decide if you, you want to buy it uh, in early access or if you want to wait for the rest of the development. So, we'll be choosing here a new game. Yeah, I suppose we could do one more. Okay, so you're presented with a map of realm that you need to uh, to choose uh, you can either um, you can either start with the ones that you have here or you can generate new ones as you wish currently again with the content uh, content that the, uh, the game has so far uh, there's not much choice to, to be made okay I, I usually like ones that are near the water but the water doesn't do anything at the moment so the only advice that I can give you is choose one with trees. Okay, so trees are important so far. You also have two ways of playing. You have the standard one, you'll have objectives, you are moving forward and everything. That's my preferred gameplay. And you also have the creative one where you have um, no restrictions. Okay, I don't actually like to play like that, so I won't be show you y showing you this. I'll I will be showing you the standard one. So let's click here and let's choose our realm. You can also click once on the realm and you'll have the information uh, here on the right. You can also choose the names to edit the names of the kingdom. I like it fine, so um, uh, it's, it's okay for me. So this one, this one, the size is large. The hills are normal, so no big hills in here. The ocean is medium no use for your ocean at the moment and the forest is normal we can stick with this one and this then we have to choose uh, this is actually an annoying uh, selection for now i have to choose if i'm a prince a princess or a highness nothing changes with the selection so i can choose highness if i want to and still i need to be look uh, to be looking for something or actually i'm sorry someone <laughs> okay uh, even though the prince is, well, you, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, so I don't want to select anyone. Uh, uh, I'll be showing you, showing you both, so I will be selecting any. And my name is BC Lady. Let's go. Once upon a time, it goes, a story told of love and woes, when all the kings and queens of yore sent forth their children to explore. New lands of plenty, fields and trees, fertile, yielding, birds and bees. It's your turn, prince or princess you. Discover, conquer, daring do. Remember, friend, tis not just sword that makes one lady or a lord. To build a kingdom tis an art, but don't neglect your spirit's heart. Through love or war, these lands ignited shall ever after be united. Now go, be kind, be cruel, be scrappy, and make your ever after happy. Okay, so we're starting here. As you can see, we have already four fable f folks probably fable folks i'm not sure how to call them and they have brought some 
um, material cards with them. So I have on storage 150 uh, vegetables, 225 of wood and 50 of stone. And this will be used for the construction of the buildings. But before that, you can see on the bottom left screen the objectives and the objectives will always be here. Okay. Currently, it's more or less like a tutorial. So you'll see uh, that I have to move the camera by using the keyboard like this uh, or by holding the, the mouse like this. Then I'm, I'll need to zoom in. I'll zoom in by using my mouse as well, but you can use it by using the keyboard or anything else that you'd like. I'm not sure what else is there, <laughs> but you can use whatever you want to. Uh, then I'll need to rotate the camera by holding the middle mouse button or moving and moving the mouse or by pressing the Q, E, Z and C. I'll be using the mouse as well, so here you go. And the first step of the tutorial is done and we can claim 10 coins. Where were we? Oh yes. Our kingdom began with little more than a humble laborer's hut. Now, where did that go again? Hmm. A new step has uh, arrived. We now have this little hammer in the bottom. That is the construction menu, as well as this in the top, uh, in the top of the screen. That says the name of the kingdom that we are, the year, and I think the days. Yes, it is the day. So we have spring seventh. I'll just press pause while I speak because it is very important to anticipate winter so that is that is going to be our main goal at the moment it's to anticipate winter because during winter nothing can grow in terms of food so uh, and there they'll be very cold um, so what we need to do is to gather uh, the wood as much as we can and gather vegetables as much as we can to survive winter so <laughs> Winter is actually coming, we know this, okay? So we're in, in spring and that is our main goal. We also have the objectives here on the top, uh, um, sorry, on the bottom left, on that says getting started. So what do I need to do? I need to build five gravel roads, build a laborer's hut, and then assign a laborer. And how do I do that? In the construction menu. But first, let's look at our kingdom, because we haven't done that. So, so we have here a body of water. At this stage of the game, there's not much to do with this body of water. It just looks nice. It looks cool. <laughs> it's a very pleasant place. But apart from that, there's nothing. We can see here some flying pigs. Here you go, they're so cute. That's the part of the fable that I can see in the game. Um, the rest of it, it looks mostly normal for me. So um, it is a cute, a very cute game with uh, nice graphics uh, that I really do enjoy. But the fable part, uh, with the exception of the pigs and something that you'll see further on with skeletons, uh, it's not really developed. So we can see here more pigs. Oh, I have several pigs here. We have here ruins, uh, big rocks, <laughs> and here small rocks. That's the name, the, the current name for this. They're small rocks <laughs> or small stone deposit. <laughs> That's the official name. So let's press play again and let's construct something. Okay, so let's click here and let's uh, um, go for the laborer's hut. So we need this building to construct other buildings. <laughs> so this will employ two peasants or two uh, commoners and we need 10 of wood to do so and 25 of coins. So I think we have this. It's not yet shown how how much of every uh, of anything that we have here it's it isn't currently there but uh, after i build this i think it's after i build this it will be on the top uh, on the top of the screen so let's build the the laborers to rotate the buildings you 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 can press r okay you also have the instructions bottom down 
So where will I put this? I think I'll put it right here next to the to the cart. Okay, so we now have a laborer's hut that is it was very fast to, to build. It's not very um, realistic. Uh, and then we need to employ people to work there. To employ, you need to assign the workers here on the plus sign. And okay, so we have Mat Matilda Lopez working here and Agnes Bonetti. And these will be the two ladies working here. There you go. S and now, what else do we need to do? We need to build the five gravel ro roads. So we click here on the roads and that's the only option that we have it will cost us two coins but we actually have them uh, because we uh, did the tutorial and now let's build here when you see this um, this blue error I I'm really o hoping that they change this in the future because this looks like water which will make sense once we start building houses but it isn't it's actually where the the, um, the building um heads so this is where the building is going but it looks like water um so yeah i'm hoping they'll change it okay i need two more let's go like this and another uh, objective is done let's claim the rewards and now uh, i don't know if you noticed but now we have more options here the top so now i can see how many uh, pieces of wood we have how many stone and vegetables we can also uh, see our coins and the income so we receive payments i think it's every it says here five days so most likely it's every five days uh, and we receive income by the people that live here okay so the more people that we have living here, the more income we receive. And currently, we can see that we have four... Let me just press pause. We have four peasants uh, in our little... Uh, let's call it a village. Okay, We have four and two are unemployed. So we can uh, see here. Every 10 days... I, I want to say 10 days, but I'm not sure. We'll be seeing this uh, after um there will be incoming newcomers and for that we need to always have if we want them to stay of course we we always need to have buildings or houses for them to live in if we don't have sufficient housing then uh, what will happen is they won't stay in the buildings so okay so currently the the happiness is also 50 uh, from zero to 100 so that's not good they're not very happy i think it's because they don't have a house but <laughs> let's see and our objectives at the moment are to build a homestead two homesteads attachments i'm sorry if it's not pronounced homestead i'm english is not my my first language as you can see um but i'll i'll learn okay so we need to build attachments as well inside the new garden. You'll see the gardens, they're pretty cool. And then we need to assign a head of the household. So every time you have new features, it will have here the exclamation mark. We can click here and here you go. We can now build a home. This is the first tier of housings, perfect for the countryside and requires a head of household to operate. So what we'll do is uh, it can uh, it can house two people. Oh no, it houses three residents. It can actually house three residents, but one of them always need to be the head of household, and the other two they can work wherever you have uh, a place to for them to work. So let's build the first one. So don't forget R. The the letter R is to rotate, and let's build a house here. So first you place the house and then you need to put the foundation the foundation will be the little garden so let's put so this is the minimum let's give them a little more and now you have two attachments but i want to choose my attachments so if i want to choose the attachments i'll need to tangle off this this part that randomizes the attachments and now i can choose this one can stay like this I'll be the uh, I'll build a new one but if you actually choose the attachments you need to tangle off this so now I don't want to re to remove this one can stay like this with the little 
uh, this is a chicken coop and this one is the small greenhouse all of the attachments do something for the house so on this house what we'll have with the chicken coop is one homegrown per day to its, uh, to its hub except during the winter and uh, 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 the chicken coop oh actually the small greenhouse does exactly the same so i wouldn't choose this the the two the two similar ones for for the house but again this one stays like it is and then we have to to click here if we have enough coins which we do and enough material material we'll build it and now you can see that the little um fable folk folk will gather the material here and start building the house the building of the house is actually fast um it, it again not realistic not that i want it to be but it's really fast once they have the materials there if you want them to walk faster you buy uh, you build okay, so here you go they're building it and uh, i'll just build another one i'll build another one next door remember the the little drop just means that it the the house will be facing that way okay sometimes it's green if it's not built yet then it's blue but it means the same thing so I'll build one here Ooh -hoo, the first homestead yippee this is where your fablings live and eat a head of household is required for the homestead to operate smoothly now make sure one has been assigned won't you okay while he spoke, I've just uh, finished another one. Uh, this time I put an apple tree and a clothing line. Oh, oh look at the little chickens. Oh, so cute. I, I, I think the best part of this game is actually the graphics. They're, they're really... They're, it makes us want to play. Let's claim the reward. Okay, so now they're starting to do this. Uh, he was telling me that I need to assign the head of the household, but usually this does automatically, and I, I, I don't really care. So it's fine by me who manages, manages the household. So in this case, you'll have Jane Bonetti. That's fine for me. Uh, I don't have any problems. You can actually change, by the way, you can actually change the name of the fable folk i'll be calling them fable folk by the way if you click on them and you click here enter name so this one will be called jane doe <laughs> just for for reference okay so now you can see what i meant you see here the little sign this means that they don't have water and that's why we need to build a well uh, and this is very similar to the other to the other remark when we'll build when we are building a house. So again, I hope they change. So let's build a well. We have more options now. We have the exclamation mark. So let's click there. And now we have essentials with a little drop of what the basic well provides waters to the homes and there's an upkeep cost of three little coins. This is a, a new feature. Besides having income, we also now have an expense an upkeep expense okay let's build the well so build it you can see here the little place in blue the selected place it's it is where the well will make uh, uh, an effect so we'll provide water to so make sure you have it uh, with the huge area the biggest area that you can find so let's put it right here here you go here is the well and while they'll be they, they build that we have more things to build now we have the lumber camp we can mark trees in the indicated area to be cut down for wood so this is a very important uh, building to to construct as soon as possible because we really need wood so highlighted in blue will mean that uh, the the trees will be gathered from there so let's put it here let's build it and let's make a road so the entrance is here I can do it like here yeah like here is fine ah finally here come our first newcomers as long as you keep your population happy more will want to join as long as there is room of course 
Welcome, welcome. So this is what I was. Okay. So this is what I was saying. So as long as we have homes, they will come. Okay. There's always two. And here, they want to stay. Of course, they have a home, and we'll welcome them. Okay. So now we have six peasants living here, but we should be uh, uh, we should be building a new home because it's every ten days that the new peasants uh, arrive. So let's build let's build a new home we don't want them to be homeless okay let's build it here build a beehive that will add uh, that will add one home ground grown here you go and let's put a dog who's a good boy this improves desirability to the house yeah which is actually very true to fact okay let's build okay so you can see here that the lumber camp is already uh, built. So now don't don't forget to assign workers. Let's assign a worker for everyone. We don't have any anyone else, and they will start uh, chopping wood. See here, these two are woodcutters. They will start wo chopping wood. Here you go. Okay, so let's see what more well we have to construct. Like we you can also see the objectives here. I know. I wish there was an option to uh, to turn it off because right now um, I already know. Okay, so mm, so yeah, but no worry. We'll just go over it so we'll need to build a farm place 25 vegetable crops and assign a farmer let's see where are the farms F in the food production and now a farm i don't have much space here for a farm i think i will build it here rotate yes here at the beginning, we'll only have the option for pumpkins. Then another one, the 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 wheat, th it will uh, it will be available, um, and nothing else so far. But yeah, let's let's put the pumpkins here, and we'll need to build 25. Uh, no, no. We have 21. Okay, here we go. I have to say. If this doesn't, uh, if this didn't specify it's a pumpkin, I wouldn't be able to see it. Okay, I, I, the drawing is not very good, at least in my opinion. Let's build a, a road. Sometimes the roads are a little bit finicky. Not sure why. Probably it's m it's my my problem, but they are. Okay, so we have 155 of wood and 40 of stone, and we need to build a farm. It's being done, and assign a farmer. It's also being done. Let's see what we have here. We have decorations as well. I won't be doing this uh, right now because I don't want to spend my money. I'll just wait for the farm to be built. Kay, this one is not doing anything. Hey, Jane, go to work, Jane. Why are you looking so miserable, Jane? If you, I, I, if we select them, we can see their thoughts. They're, they're, well, there's not so many of them. She is happy that they open a basic well close to my home. Yeah, and she's excited about getting a fresh start. Also great. If we go and see another one, you'll see that the uh, the texts are are basically the same. <laughs> Where are the people? up okay i don't know where they are where are they oh they're chopping wood somewhere i think they de they're dead <laughs> if i didn't know better i think they are dead they can die actually but not at, at this stage now seriously where are they I don't hear any sound. There's another one here, Agnes. So, sh see, it's exactly the same. She is very excited about the the well. It's it is exciting. It is exciting, 
and uh, she's excited <laughs> about the new start. I don't know what, where the lumbers are. Never mind. So let's go to the next objective, to assign a farmer. It's great that new joiners have, <laughs> have arrived because I didn't have anyone to assign. Let's welcome them because I, I built the house for them. Here you go. Let's assign them. There's no available, but there should be. I just had two. What are you doing? Why aren't you... Ah, ti timing issue. Okay, so I've now assigned a farmer and this objective is completed. Let's claim it. And this I haven't claimed. Okay, the next objectives are more uh, long-reached. So we have to collect 200 in taxes. So far we have collected... Uh, we will collect 29. That's great. <laughs> really great. And we have to place three decorations. So don't forget, we have new joiners or newcomers, uh, newcomers, I'm sorry, in nine days. So let's build another home for them. There we go. Uh, I'll put it here and then uh, a road will pass from here. There we go. And okay, so which ones I haven't chosen yet? Uh, an outhouse. So <laughs> I think this is essential. And this one can have a tree, an apple tree. Let's build. Okay. Everything's going well. We have wood, we have snow stone. Uh, and we have to place decorations. Oh, this isn't saying that it, it is new, but it is. It uh, is to store the resources that you have. So currently the woods and it will also be the the stone and further on the vegetables um i don't know let's place it here you also need to have the attachment the stock a pile lot otherwise you you wouldn't be able to store anything let's put two and build uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if i build it the other way around maybe so here are my pumpkins they're they're looking good. Okay, okay. They're building that. I have a new home. So now I have place for twelve. Twelve fable folk. And their happiness is sixty one. The happiness is also influenced by uh, if they have houses, if they have um if they have water, if they have food, that's a big a big plus. Okay, they've finished building this, so now we have a stockpile. This also needs a worker, but we don't have anyone right now. We just need to wait for the newcomers that they're coming in five days, so it's fine. Let's place some decorations while we wait. I'll put a public outhouse, because not everyone has, uh, has a outhouse, uh, outhouse in their in their house so let's put well where doesn't it stink because I, i'm not putting it next to the well it would stink up the water um mm, i didn't put a, ta a town center nor anything like that but okay yeah i think i'll build it here and i'll put more roads here to make it more pretty and a bush right next to the out, uh, outhouse. I think it's better. It's wise. It's wise. Okay, and I'll put a gravel road also here, 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 for them to go there if they want to. Okay, here you go. I'm just missing one decoration. Uh, unplanted, it planted. Oh, okay. Uh, I prefer unplanted. Here you go. I'll put another one. Here we go. Okay, we can claim it. So the next objective is to reach population milestone hamlet. So we have to have 10. It's fine. There go. Everything is well. And I think we can leave this episode right here.
So I hope you had fun and see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.